man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your homeboy CT. And you know I'm back kicking it with my homeboys at the Rap Shack. You did. Bar, uh, Betrayal and Rejection, you feel me? Uh, the single, Just Imagine, is exactly what it, what the visual is, what the lyrics is, just imagine a lifestyle you want and then going to get it, you know what I mean? Um, I, I ain't really a fabricator, so I can't talk about Bentleys and Jets and shit that I don't got, but I want it, so I'm just imagining it in this song, you feel me? That, that, that's what I'm gonna get. You feel me? So you would have like a speaking into the woods type shit. It's definitely speaking it into existence. That's crazy because that's damn near what I should have named the album because that's the vibe I'm on right now. Uh, and usually I don't put shit in the air. I just I just try to manifest it and make it happen. But now I'm speaking it and then going to get it. You feel me? I'm putting it out there first and then now now because me first I'm a man of my word. So when I say something. I got my actions got to be there. So if I say I, I'm gonna do this, I gotta go do that. So now I'm just using that in this music field. Where are you with your tools for playing right now? Right now, on some real shit. My my last project with my nigga Dange, uh, Four Seasons, um, BG. I still all his shit is in my playlist. Um, I, while I'm writing in this process, it's uh, me against the world. Get rich or die trying. And uh, yeah, this is the world, get rich or die trying, and uh, too rich to be Hollywood. You feel me? That was, that's what I listen to for my motivation right now. Yeah, you, know, you, you do that like every album. Kind of, I do the same thing. Like I get into a mode. Like right. my album. Let me listen to what took me to those places. You right. A lot when, when you go on the album. I did do it a lot, but I didn't do it as much as I did on this one. You feel me? On this one, I was really more focused. Um, so those was the the, the the people who is I mean obviously they, they some of my favorite artists but those are the people whose styles I think I uh, I, I, I resemble you feel me La on the last albums and shit I probably listened to it but not for motivation just to, you know what I mean because that's the music I like this was motivational helped me inspire writing and shit you feel me you can respect on this bar you know like you know like you said. I, I reading the uh, like the headline of it, right. I kind of felt like my nigga was on some like nigga me against the world type shit. Like, man, these niggas is you know rejecting me and, and right. betrayed. I've been going right. like I thought it was that, but I get what you kind of. It is. It is. It is somewhat that as well though, because uh, you know betrayal, nigga. I, I you, you can go watch my last rap shack interviews. I've been betrayed. You feel me? I'm nigga. It's niggas in them interviews, nigga. That ain't here. You feel me? And I feel like that's where the betrayal come from. You know what I mean? It just, nigga, I say on the bar, uh, on, on the album, I say, uh, uh, all the niggas commit the treason. You feel it? Because it's a lot of niggas, they fuck with niggas that I don't fuck with. And if you do that automatically, there's no way we can fuck with each other. You feel me? But it's a lot of, it's a lot of betrayal, rejection, a lot of no's. You feel me? A lot of, uh, we ain't even gonna let you in. We don't care if you raw or nice. You know what I mean? Because it's all, that's all subjective anyway. Your talent, but. This album is more, to me, more personal. It's more, um, you really get to know me. It ain't really too much of that, which I rarely do anyway, but it ain't too much uh, party songs. It ain't too much up tempo. It's like real life, you're gonna listen to it from one to nine. Like, oh, okay, yeah, you feel me? So like, give me another recommended track before you got the single album. Like Just another. imagine the single, I'm pushing that right now. But uh, I got another one called Label Poor. Obviously, the, the title, itself let you know it just talk about my upbringing uh you know growing up where i grew up in poverty my mom welfare dad you know sizzling job here you know round away jobs and just growing up not having everything you feel me and and, and overcoming it and you know being laughed at now, i ain't gonna say bully but you know butter the jokes here and there you know what i mean until i started growing into my own and oh my own way so that's my next visual i'm gonna drop but my next must here gotta be, I gotta say, with my nigga Banner. You feel me? Bruce Banner, I got him on one called Cold Story. You feel me? And it's just, that one's just, uh, it gave you chills, you feel me? I mean, it gave me chills, cause it, it's just talking about like, niggas will say anything about you. And then niggas, some niggas will believe it, some niggas won't believe it. 
but it's just a fuck up yo energy and yo image until until yeah. shit get cleared up. You feel me? And, uh, feel me? Is it business or is it like that's my nigga? The, the, uh, without this music shit, I, I knew better before this music shit. Before I started rapping, uh, his cousin is one of my closest homeboys. That's how I met him. Uh, you feel me? When he was fucking with Keith way way back when, and I was just pulling up to to their grandma house. And, uh, they was making music, you feel me? I wasn't even really making music. So my love and, 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 and shit with him ain't got nothing to do with his music, you feel me? So when I see him in certain situations, I'm the, I kid him. But what is you doing? You got to contact me. Like even when that shit came out, I, I still ain't seen nothing clear, you feel me? And I don't know if niggas have, that that's a different conversation, you know what I mean? But when I seen it, I tap in with him, bro, what's going on? But he locked up, so you know what I mean? The, the conversation really can't have been flowing. So, but 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 I, I fuck with the nigga without this music shit, so. Yeah. I watch some of the producers on the album. Ain't no producers on the album, but Trackaholic, baby, one through nine. I took it, I, I learned, uh, you know, I ain't learned, but something I picked up from Gap. You know what I mean? It's the nigga, the organic of the shit, how you could just vibe and build, and then you can have one sound, but it sounds different, but the shit sound full. Oh, Trackaholic on the beat, baby. That's all I did, one through nine. You feel me? And and that was just, nigga, that just carried over from the four seasons, because he did all the four seasons besides two songs, and you can hear the difference, you know what I mean? From, from his songs, to the other two songs that wasn't here as you can hear it. So I knew on this one, I just wanna go with all one producer around. Right? And that shit, one through nine, I promise you. Yeah. So, so what's one of the growths from the last album that you feel like overall everything like, you know, you know, taking a different approach to it? What, what's some, what's some, some of the growth you think out of this album in the last, you know, two, three? Um, it's uh, like hard, it's like recording, writer. recording what I wanna hear, you feel me? Like. Now, this, this, I mean, not saying the other projects wasn't what I wanted to hear, but I was really riding with the what was going on. This one right here was just, it's pure coming out of my spirit, basically. That That's the real difference. I didn't go into it with no concept, no idea. I really just went into it as a blank canvas and knew, I knew the direction I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to be all personal. I knew I wanted to be strictly about me. I knew I wanted, uh, to talk about, I never talked about my childhood, you feel me? I never talked about uh, my family situations. And then on this album, I talk about a lot of that shit. You know, feel me, so, what you feel me, so. What do you want them to get from? What do you want fans just to, the big message? And like one line, what you want them to get from? In a one liner? A one liner, just one word, bro. Just all, all sin, what's the word? All sense no, that ain't the word. No, uh, it is, but I can't pronounce it, so we're gonna mess it out. <laughs> uh, we gonna go with authenticity. That still ain't it. We gonna go with authenticity. Y'all heard what Corey said. Man, I got a list, man. I just uh, you feel me? I just got my uh, visa line off, so you feel me? I'm, I'm working with this new straightness. You know what I mean? But but yeah, I just want them to get, man. For real, I just want them to get a feeling off this shit, like a real feeling. This one of them ones, bro. You can really, them road trips you go on, you feel me? It's only nine songs, you're gonna listen to 18, because that is, you're gonna listen to it twice right. before you take it out on my mama. I swear to God. Yeah, How you feel about this nigga Kells, man? I know you see what's going on with R. Kelly and then this whole, can you speak on that? Man? Yeah, that shit just, um, you know, we just going off the uh, accusations, clown shit, put him under the jail. Um, it, this one of those where, you know what I mean, you, guilt, you guilty until you prove an innocent to me. Because those accusations, bro, you keep putting yourself in those shits. And, 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 and nigga, when we was kids, it was the same thing. But you know, when you're a kid, you really you really ain't paying attention to it like that. But now it's like, come on, bro, you doing it again. Uh, you, you ain't learning then. You, and they gotta do him, if it is true, I'm gonna say that, which I think it is true, but they gotta do him like they did OJ. OJ, you got away with it, bruh. Now you out here robbing people for your shit back? Oh, right, go sit down real quick. You go. You ain't learning. Right. You got away with it, Kels. You ain't learning? Go sit your dumb ass down. You voted Nick Kills? Man, I voted for Obama. That was it, bruh. Like, right. and, and my vote for him was purely off 
he was black. It didn't have nothing to do with me. And I wish I could learn the politics of this shit, but what I've learned, nigga, just in life, everybody ain't gonna, ain't gonna, ain't gonna agree on everything, so it don't matter. It's always gonna, whoever the president is, the nigga ain't gonna please everybody. Bro. So, nigga, Trump, I don't like nothing he did, right? But it's people that love everything he did. Nigga, Obama, I love everything he did. It's people that did it, so it don't matter. I ain't saying my vote don't matter, but whoever get it ain't gonna matter. You know, nigga, so I mean, that's good. I get, you know, some black women around the board. I'm a vote for her Just because he did it. I'm a vote for her. I'm a vote for her. Shit. Nigga, let her, cause these niggas fucking up. So what she can do? She can't do no worse but fuck up. Shit. That's all they doing in life. This music shit don't work out what you want to do where you see yourself. Um, I was some honest shit. If the music on the front line of it don't work out for me, I wanna I wanna be behind the scenes and helping another artist out. Uh doing giving them shit that ain't nobody giving me. You feel me? That I really wanna invest in artists, to be honest, you know what I mean? Because that that's one of the keys to this shit, having somebody that see your vision, support your vision, and then back your vision. You know what I mean? So you gotta be serious, and I really wanna put my money into an artist that's really um, taking their craft serious, you know what I mean? Because that, that, that nigga paying for every fucking thing, bruh, it become, especially for a nigga like me who got kids, a wife, you know what I mean? A, a, a spot, a car, a, you know, you got real life shit going on, nigga paying for everything, but the, the shit gotta start to pan out and pay out, there's so much going out, and it's, Cause I do get paid for features now, and I do get paid for shows. It be little, but it, it, you know what I mean. What go out outweighs what come in. You know what I mean. So my shit gotta make sense. People think I when I go to them for for business inquiries and shit, they think I'm just blowing smoke. I'm just trying to see what your prices is, and and then I want to see, okay, do I really need to do it? You know what I mean. It ain't me wasting your time. I just want to make sure I ain't wasting mine or my money. I know you just want the money of it because that's what you do. But nigga, I want to make sure is it gonna benefit my uh my move. You feel me? It's a business overall. It's a business overall, bro. He, it, my, I, I I I had a couple people recently to where I I you know I, I reach out to them to see you know what I mean just get just out here uh, uh, uh price checking and then they hit me back hella quick like I want to do it like and then. When I say no, they like, oh, you're wasting my time. No, I ain't wasting your time. It just don't make sense for me right now, my man. You feel me? It might make sense a couple weeks down the line, but right now, me paying for that ain't really gonna get no more energy on what I'm doing over here. So maybe down the line we can meet up. You know? So and they gotta know how to. It's a business as well. Everybody you talk to ain't gonna ain't gonna sign a deal with you. So you need a project coming out here. What's next for you? What's next for you? Next for you? Um, I really uh, finna just do hella singles after this project. I ain't really doing no more solo projects because I feel like um, it takes a lot to do a full project. It's my fourth uh, full project, and then I got one uh, with me and Dang. So I got five projects. You feel me? Four solo and one with him, and it just takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of money, um, studio time, trying to get visuals. All it takes a lot, and I feel like which is I love the process of it. You feel me? But I feel like our attention span is so short now that that I'm wasting time doing that. Like, when I dropped a video, they're probably ready for another video. You feel me? Ain't finna be on that one too long. So, uh, after after this energy, and I'm really finna put a lot of energy into this, then I'm just doing all singles, and every single I do is have a purpose. You feel me? It's gonna be video, uh, promotion, and then that way I can put a lot of energy into each song and a lot of money, no well, not a lot, but a nice chunk of change on each individual song that I put out, you know what I mean? It comes with a video, might have a feature on it, and I'm gonna promote the shit out of it. On this nine albums, I'm gonna really, I'm, well, it's gonna be a great number because it's only nine song, but I'm, I got videos to five of them, you feel me? That, that I'm gonna put out and space out. And so the, I want this shit really to carry me all the way to the third quarter. You feel me? And I got some dope ass features um, that I'm on. You feel me? Uh, TK State Rockin' just sent the song uh, back that uh, I'm on. That shit goes so crazy. It's called uh, I'm Okay With It. I wish I'd have stole that and put it on my album. You feel me? That shit bang. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, me and Gat supposed to do a full project. He said we, it should be out by summertime. That's the only way I'm doing a full project. I ain't doing no more solos, you feel me? 
I do me a, a nigga that makes sense like that. A joint project with a nigga who I know gonna have my same energy or not F more. You feel me? Because I seen this nigga work ethic. That nigga, I don't know who you think he is. That nigga think he Robocop or something. That nigga just go, go, go. I'm like, God. But yeah, I got, um, I just, I'm featuring on people's shit and then I'm doing all uh, uh, singles from here on out. You feel me? So that's my plans. So look, man, y'all already know. Y'all tune into that Just Imagine video. Uh, it's on YouTube only right now, unless y'all give me on BET or something. Or Betrayal Rejection come out April 5th. That's on all digital outlets uh, right now. When this gonna drop? This week. Whenever this drop, you can already go pre-order it because you can pre-order it right now. So uh, my main man, Corey B, says it's gonna be out this week. So when you see it, go pre-order it. Um, I wanna say shout out my main man, Trackaholics. You feel me, he did all the beats. Shout out my main man, Dange. Go get his album dropping April, I mean not April, March 12th called Make Em All Pay. Shout out my man, uh, Connor. Come on, he gonna hate I said Connor. Shout out my man, Kondo, you feel me? Uh, engineer everything, and he just, he just got our best interest in heart. Y'all be on the lookout, and I wanna say rest in peace to my good friend, Andy O'Neill uh, Perkins Jr. He just died, uh, he just passed away March 6th. So, you know, your family and the kids is in the prayers, my man, I love you. And that's CT Time on the Rap Shack, baby!